Hello. Hello. We are here today with Wendy and Touch of Grey Rescue. We're really excited to cover her story and hear what she has to share. with Touch of Grey Rescue. We are at Touch of Grey Rescue headquarters where we rescue senior dogs, seven and older, most from shelters, some owner surrenders. So come on in. So Touch of Grey Rescue, we formed in 2019. Um, I had moved to Florida six years ago. We had been involved in rescue and foster for 15 years. And when we moved to Florida, I started volunteering at Brevard County Animal Services, walking the shelter dogs, and just saw really how many seniors were there. Um, nobody was adopting the old dogs, and they were just kind of languishing in their kennels. We decided to start a senior dog rescue focused on getting the older dogs out. At any given time, we have between 25 to 30 senior dogs in foster homes in Brevard County. Um, the majority of our dogs come from shelters within Brevard and neighboring counties. So we work with uh, Orlando, Palm Beach, and Brevard County Animal Services to help get the senior dogs out of kennel floors and into loving homes. We also do take owner surrenders. So people who can't afford to care for their dogs anymore or maybe have gone into hospice or other living uh, facilities that don't accept animals we will help them and we'll accept their dogs into rescue and bring them into foster homes get them vetted and uh, hopefully eligible for adoption we are always looking for extra fosters um, donations fosters are really the backbone of our organization we can't get dogs out of the kennels unless we have somewhere for them to go um, we also are in, in dire need of donations to help pay for their medical care as you know seniors have a lot more need when it comes to vet care um, you can follow us on facebook and instagram as well touch of gray rescue You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Our junior rescuers really kind of help us take care of the dogs when they first come out of the shelter. Sometimes the dogs will stay in Jenny's room and she'll make sure that they get their dinner and have water and have a good night's sleep and they hang out with her. So how we split it up, so basically whenever we get very small dogs like little chihuahuas or Pomeranians, they stay with my room but all the rest of the bigger dogs, they stay with her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Our small dog. And this this one right here stays with us. You know, and, and I can't get no sleep. No sleep at all. <laughs> Texas though, come over here with daddy. Come over right here. Okay. Right there. Right. Say bye-bye, doggy. 